What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. Hopefully, it will be on Monday. It is Sunday here. It's football day. More playoff games are being played today in uh, about 30 minutes or so. So, I thought that I would do another cooking video, and today I'm super excited because I'm going to be attempting to fix one of my favorite Chinese American dishes, beef and broccoli over some white rice. So let's take a look at the ingredients and let's get going. Okay, so I already made the rice about, I guess about an hour ago. Nice and fluffy in there. Hey now. And of course, we need some broccoli. I'm gonna use some sliced carrots, onion in here. I'm gonna do some peppers. And I marinated some beef uh, about two hours ago. I have some soy sauce in here, some oyster sauce. Now let me tell you about the oyster sauce. For the longest, longest time, I mean for many years, because this is how long I have been eating and ordering beef and broccoli from the local Chinese store, wherever neighborhood I was in, and I could not figure out what they were using to make that sauce taste so good in their beef and broccoli. A lot of people might think that it's soy sauce, but it's not soy sauce, it's oyster sauce. It's oyster sauce. And I found that out by looking it up online and looking at different recipes and how people fixed the uh, beef and broccoli on YouTube. And very few people use oyster sauce. And I was like, when I saw that video, oh my gravy, that's what it is, oyster sauce. So I've been using oyster sauce ever since. So I got some marinated beef here and we all set to go. All right, since I got, and I'm gonna cook this in the pot. We're gonna keep our pot thing going on. All right, let's cut up some onions first. I'm gonna put a little oil up in here first. I got something to tell y'all, boy. <laughs> I got something to tell y'all. First of all, let me just say that. Oh, this onion feel frozen. First of all, let me just say, ants and squirrels, or a squirrel, one squirrel, has taken over the gazebo. I woke up two days ago, two mornings ago. I had a hole in my gazebo, which I'm gonna show y'all guys before this video is over with. The whole gazebo inside was ransacked by a squirrel. I had a trash bag in here. The trash bag was all busted open, trash all over the floor. It was a little too early. It was it was Friday, Friday morning before I went to the RV show. So it was like, I ain't got time to clean this stuff up. I got to go. And then I woke up Saturday. The squirrel had made another appearance. The squirrel had made another appearance. I'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer if I can. Let me tell y'all, those ants didn't stand a chance because I killed them bad boys like, psh. they did not stand a chance. I was like, uh-uh, because y'all be having a whole army with y'all. Get some of these onions diced up. Woohoo! There we go. There we go. Let's get these onions in the pot. Alrighty, we getting it going here. 
Now I'm not gonna try to open all these peppers. I'm not. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do the red because I think the red would look nice mixed in with the the green of the broccoli. So yeah, that's all we are gonna do. Cut that piece off. Stand that bad boy up like, oh yeah, I'll move back a little bit. Y'all all up in my grill. <laughs> y'all thought I was going to say I was in y'all grill. No, y'all in my grill. <laughs> y'all, let me say y'all. I was sitting in my van just before I started cooking. I was sitting in my van, mind my own bees. And let me tell y'all, this, this, this guy came up to the van. I, I, wait, I gotta turn around and tell y'all this. Because y'all need to hear this. Let me cut these peppers up right quick. Ooh, that juice is going all over the place. Now, I'm gonna try to fix a single meal, but I definitely didn't fix a single meal of the rice, so. <laughs> Definitely did not fix a single meal of the rice. All right, there we go. I don't know. This might be enough for a single, a single meal. Now I gotta store all these peppers and turn on. Jimmy Christmas. All right, get on out the way, there. Get on out the way. But let me tell y'all about this dude. Come on up. Now I'm gonna bring y'all up. Come on up. Let me tell y'all. I'm sitting in my van, minding my business, looking at thing. This guy walks up. Now I'm gonna tell you why I think he walked up to me because his rig is right at the start of where I walk down the path to come to the van site. So he's always naked. I mean, always naked, right? So his rig has this big window that's open. So last night when I was walking by there, you know, he was in there naked, cooking. And so, of course, you know, I'm a look. So I looked, you know, <laughs> I looked and I kept looking. <laughs> I said, Anthony, you started to look like a pervert, a stalker. <laughs> get, you, get, get. So I left, came down to my site, right? And I think he saw me looking which I don't care. So anyway, came down. I was in the van. I had the door open, nice breeze. He walks by, he goes past the van a little bit, and then he comes back to me in the van. And I thought, okay, yeah, he's, mm. And I thought, oh yeah, he definitely, he definitely saw me. He definitely saw me looking, which I was like, okay. Guys, he's short. But of course he's probably taller than me because I feel like everybody's taller than me. My little short self five five two. He was handsome. He is handsome. I was like, oh. Mmm. Oh boy here. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what? Uh why the heck I ain't had my teeth in my mouth? Why? 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 Cause We had a 40 minute conversation with no grill. I was through. I was through. But I guess it was, didn't matter because he talked to me for like 40 minutes and stuff. And I'm telling you, I did not let him leave without him inviting me to <laughs> his ring. to talking about cooking and everything and I was like oh okay you're gonna have to invite me up and you know cook something for me you know and he was like oh I can only cook for myself yeah, yeah, yeah I was like okay well you know you can invite me up and cook for yourself naked I can just stand there <laughs> Woo, Lord have mercy all right I'm about to stand y'all up there <laughs> 
glad he's retired. He goes to different campgrounds and stuff. Similar to, he lives in Quebec, Canada. You know, Y'all might hear me saying I'm going to Canada. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, and get this. Get this. And this is the last thing I'm going to say about it. Get this. He's going to be at another campground the same time that I'm going to be there. I'm going to get there a day before him. That's when I'm, I'm going to a campground on my way back up north in Georgia. And he's going to be there. He's coming a day after me. And I'm staying a week and he's staying for however long. So. <laughs> Let me move y'all up. All right, guys. I have the onions, the peppers in here. I also added some, uh, a little bit of garlic because I also have some garlic and the chicken that's, I mean, the beef that's been marinated. I had some neighbors over the weekend. It was uh, like a SUV here in this site. And then that's a rental uh, class B right there. I was here when the guy uh, brought it here and he, I guess he owned the company that rents these uh, RVs out. And the two guys that occupied it, the, they came late Friday because he delivered that right right after I got back from the RV show around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And they didn't show up until like 9 o'clock. And then they left today. And then he told me, the guy who I guess owns the business, he told me that it's like $700 a weekend to rent one of those. So I don't think they got the most of that, boy. They only stayed like a day. And then I got some neighbors right there, across there. He's in a tent right there. All right, let's add some sauces to this. Let's add some soy sauce. Some of the oyster sauce. Now I'm gonna drain this out a little bit. That's why I'm only gonna put a little bit of each in there. Cause I want it This just to marinate all the flavors together because uh, I'm going to drain the juices out. I want the, uh, I want the broccoli beef. I want that to be like, not thick, but not wet. Uh oh, did y'all see that fly out the pot? I'm gonna put the lid on it for a minute. Man, that looks so good. All right, guys, here's the finishing meal. Some beef and broccoli with carrots. I sprinkled some sesame seeds on top and some white rice. Let's give it a try. Oh, I hate this chair. I'm getting me a different chair. This chair is, uh, everything's in the way. Good gracious. All right, let's give it a try here.
I'm always a little skeptical of uh, fixing beef because if you don't cook it right, you can overcook it and it can be tough. So let's see where mine is. All right, no beef first. <laughs> All right, let's get some beef in there and some carrots. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The sauce is definitely, the sauce is definitely a wowzer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the sauce is definitely on point. Let me get another piece of this beef here. Get a bigger piece. Then I'll really be able to tell did I cook it well or not. Hmm. Mm -mm. Okay. The flavor, the sauce is definitely a wowzer. It's really, really tasty. Some smaller pieces of the beef, it cooked right, but some of the bigger pieces, I had to take some extra chews to get it digestible <laughs> see that was the smaller piece and it's a lot better but overall for the the meat itself it's not a wowzer it's not a wowzer it's tasty don't get me wrong it's tasty very tasty it's just not a wowzer. It's a wah. A wah. Mmm. Mmm. But that sauce and the rice, that's a wowzer there. That's a wowzer there. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So, if I fix this again, the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to cut the meat into smaller pieces. But I'm starting to sweat here, though. And I know what a lot of you probably thinking right now. Anthony ain't put no pepper in there. I did. I put pepper in the marinade. I put pepper in the rice. So the pepper is there. The pepper is there. Mmm. The smaller pieces are definitely much better than the bigger pieces. Mmm. How about that, y'all? Broccoli and carrots. How about that? For all you FOAs, FOAs out there, where's your veggies? I got carrots, peppers, broccoli. Voila. Mm. Ooh, that little piece of broccoli was good. Mm. Oh my. Alrighty, FOAs. Mm -mm. I don't know, y'all. This is getting better and better as I eat it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
I guess I'm down to all the smaller pieces because it's getting better and better. There's that Brock. After I finish eating this, I'm gonna walk around. Just do it like a lap around. It's cloudy now. Not like it's great rain, it's just no sun out. And I'm about to watch the football game. I missed the games yesterday. I was at the um, RV show, so I missed the two playoff games yesterday. But I'm gonna see the two today. All right, guys, look. Almost done. Okay. I have another week here, I think. I think I'm leaving here on January 29th. But get this. From after I leave here, until the cruise, which is about two weeks. I don't have any plans. I don't have a campsite set up. I mean, a campsite reserved. So I'm sitting up here thinking, oh Lord, what you gonna do for two weeks, Anthony, before the cruise? And then I thought of something. But I ain't telling y'all now. I'll tell y'all, I'm gonna have a sit down with y'all. Next video, we're gonna have a sit down, we're gonna have a little chat. We're going to have a little chat. <clears throat> mm, what am I, an infant now? Good gracious. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. Always. You know that, you know, without you guys, none of this would be going on. At least not right now. All right, I'll see you guys the next time.